Hello, I'm Thomas with Geon Technologies, and for this video we'll be looking at Docker-based components in waveforms. If you grab the application factory implementation and of the core framework, you'll find a property reference, double underscore docker underscore image double underscore. Clearly somebody is thinking about this too, so we at Geon have implemented a basic concept of it here on GitHub, which we'll be showing in this video. As a further disclaimer though, what I'm about to show is by no means the way to do this. It's just one way. And I would love to hear some feedback from the community on alternative routes for how to do this. The main piece of the puzzle that we must change is the GPP. We needed to recognize this exec param, otherwise known as pass on command line, so we could prepend some command line arguments that will let this GPP call on Docker first. In other words, the GPP is going to be doing a basic Docker run but the command that we pass in will be our Red Hot component within that environment. So what if we need more Docker arguments, like volumes and whatnot? For that, we've defined another property, Docker underscore args, also with the double underscores on either side. It's optional. Now because we base this GPP off the standard one, the IDs are the same. This means you'll need to move your original GPP out of the SDR route if you're concerned about swapping back to the standard one after playing with this for a bit. Next, clone our fork of the core framework from GitHub, the Docker GPP 2.0.4 branch. Change it into the GPP directory and run build.sh. Then build.sh install. You now have a standard GPP upgraded to recognize double underscore docker underscore image double underscore and the double underscore docker underscore args double underscore as pass on the command line properties. In your default device manager, be sure to set the new docker omniorb config property on this new GPP. It needs to be the absolute path to the omniorb.config file that you want any containers to use. The default is to use the standard one in Etsy of the host system, but you may not want that for security reasons. Now let's build the docker redhawk minimal image. On your redhawk host system, where your GPP will be running, you should also have docker configured. Clone docker redhawk minimal and run make. The build process will take a while, perhaps about an hour as it did on my quad core, which is plenty of time to check out the readme file. It'll describe how the images are being generated and some of the other features. When it finishes, we'll install the first example component into the SDR root volume using make component installer. What it requires is setting the rh component variable to the absolute path of the component you wish to install. In this case, we'll use the pwd environment variable and the provided docker component in the example folder. It's an extremely trivial pass-through component. Type make component installer with the variable as shown. The first time you run this command, it will create the installer image. And then every time after that, it reuses that installer image to run the install script. Now that it's installed inside the volume, we need to install it in SDR root of the host system so that we can reference it in waveforms. Copy the component to your SDR root slash DOM slash components directory. Notice we're not trying to build and install it in this environment because we don't need to. We don't actually plan on running it in this environment. So all we really need are some of the files that are in the hierarchy and a file for whatever the executable file name would be. So in other words, if this were a C++ implementation, we would touch a file in the implementation folder that is the same as the component name. And that's it. You're now free to reference the component in waveforms, and the new GPP will run the component within the Docker container. Time for a remarkably trivial demo. The much cooler one is coming soon, I promise. If you're following along, all I've done is create a Docker test waveform and dropped in the standard signal generator, SIGGEN, Red Hawk component from my host's installation and a Docker component that is included with the Docker Red Hawk minimal. I then installed the waveform into my SDR root and now I'm simply going to launch it like I would any other waveform. Hey 
As you can see, my two components are green, indicating they've started. We can plot the tone coming out of the Docker component too. Over in a terminal, we see that the parent of the Docker component Python shell is the Docker shim as we expect. And everybody's happy. And you know what that means. Corba finally helped you. That's right. Now granted, it's been helping us the whole time behind the scenes. So while this pass-through component is a trivial example, what's non-trivial is that we now have a component running in a separate environment from the GPP. It's also important to point out that we didn't do anything external to the GPP that might assist a Dockerized component in finding a GPP friendly to these parameters. For example, creating a property that could be used in a property ref dependency. This is one of those things that would be worth looking into as the community gets a feel for shaping how this new capability works. And in that regard, we would love to get this conversation going and see some implementations. So email us, leave comments, fork it, submit pull requests, and that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. This is Thomas with Geon Technologies. Please don't hesitate to contact us for in-class training and support.